Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over location targeting settings within LinkedIn ads. So let's jump right into it. So sometimes newer clients, they ask me what's available for location targeting. Um, they might be used to other platforms like Google and Meta where you can do radius targeting and on Google you can do a zip code targeting. So within LinkedIn ads, you can't do zip code or radius targeting. Um, you can do country, city, state, towns, um, but you can't get hyper targeted around zip codes and using radiuses. Although that's not necessarily needed for LinkedIn ads because we're targeting professionals. LinkedIn ads is a paid social, you know, professional network. So we can target things like job functions, job titles, specific companies and people who work at those specific companies. So as long as we have an area, say, you know, a state or a country or even a, a city that we want to focus on, that's plenty to make sure we're hitting the right people because we can say target companies at a specific size and in this industry and then we can also narrow down project managers so regardless of where the people live and let's say they're in Washington State in the USA then we're gonna know that we're gonna be hitting our target audience uh, especially in today's world where some people work remotely they're not necessarily uh, located at the headquarters of the company but that's what again what makes it great for LinkedIn as is we can target the company and then we can target job titles at those companies so we're still getting in front of the audience and we don't have to be hyper targeted in the location targeting. Some clients sometimes want to do some geofencing around certain areas. And what I find is as long as we have a good company list and we use the, the LinkedIn native filters, that always works well with getting in front of the right target audience. So just to review the location targeting options, the, the biggest thing here within the location targeting, so I'm in the campaign setup in the audience section and it says, where is your target audience? And this is where you'll set your location. Right now I have a uh, in this example set to the United States. The biggest thing that you're gonna wanna choose between is recent or per permanent locations and permanent locations. I always use permanent location because we wanna target members based off of the location that they put in their profile, based off of their profile data. And if we use the recent or permanent location, it can use the IP address to get the recent location. So as an example, say you're targeting San Francisco and California and you're using the recent or permit location and you're targeting a specific comp companies and specific job titles, if someone is traveling internationally who also works in that company and has that job title and they're visiting that location, it's gonna, they're gonna be eligible to see that ad and you might not necessarily want people from you know, out of state or out of country who happen to be in the location temporarily seeing your ads. So I always like to use permanent location there. That's really the biggest setting within location targeting is to set that to the permanent location, which is gonna go off of the member's profile. And then you can select the, the countries, states, cities, and towns that you want. So for example, I'm targeting permanent location in the United States. I'm based in Seattle, Washington. So if I put Seattle in here, you can see we have a few different options. We have the city here, and then we have greater Seattle area, the metropolitan area. You can select whatever best suits you and the audience that you wanna target. So again, the main thing here is to choose between permanent location or recent or permanent location. And again, I almost always am going with permanent location. So if you have any questions on that, please put them in the comment section. I'd be happy to help you out with anything LinkedIn ads. So just drop a note there if you have any questions and thanks for watching and have a great day.